Greetings my beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by GlassesUSA.com where you can find over 6,000 styles of both in-house and brand name styles. GlassesUSA.com makes finding a pair of glasses easy, convenient, and affordable. So a complete pair of glasses that includes frames and prescription lenses start at $30 and every frame comes with a basic prescription lens. So shopping at GlassesUSA.com is a risk-free experience. There's free shipping, free returns, and if you're not happy with your glasses, you can return them within the first 14 days to receive a 100% money-back guarantee, no questions asked. So I use the virtual mirror tool to try on a bunch of different glasses and I picked a few out, so let me know what you think is your favorite. I quite fancy this pair. What do you think? <laughs> These ones are bold. <sighs> I've never owned a pair of red glasses. Do you think I could rock them? <laughs> uh, I also got some sunnies because summer is just around the corner. Oh, so much better. <laughs> and because I wear contact lenses, it's always good to have a pair without prescription. Ta -da. <laughs> and finally, this is a pair from Hilary Duff's collection that she's designed to help women to feel more confident and comfortable in their own skin. If you'd like to try GlassesUSA.com for yourself, click the link down below to receive a special offer. Big thanks to GlassesUSA for their continued support and for sponsoring this video. Now today, I'm going to be making a recipe that just sounds too good to be true. There are only two ingredients and the results look absolutely gorgeous. It is for two ingredients, condensed milk, the clutch ingredient of all clutch ingredients, and cocoa powder. Now, I first learned about this from a YouTube channel called Nino's Home. Have you seen it? Oh my gosh, it's so stinking cute. So it would be categorized as an ASMR cooking channel, but it includes Nino, which is a beautiful, sweet cat. Definitely check out Nino's Home if you don't know them already. I'll put the link down below. But Nino's Home also credits Cooking Trees, so I also checked out Cooking Trees version of this recipe. I'll also put Cooking Trees video down below, and it looks pretty straightforward. You're just gonna combine condensed milk and cocoa powder into a mass and create truffles that look delectable. So I never knew you could make so many wonderful things out of condensed milk, but you know who knows? It's the Brazilians. The Brazilians know all these wonderful recipes using condensed milk because it's a dairy that is shelf stable and Brazil is very warm. So having a shelf stable dairy product that's easy to use and it's already sweetened, it's so handy. So this recipe is actually very similar to brigadeiros, which are these beautiful little truffles, but that recipe includes two more ingredients, margarine and sprinkles. So let's go ahead and make this recipe, shall we? Condensed milk, you're gonna need 240 grams, and that works out to be about seven eighths of a cup. I know, weird, right? There's a lot of sugar in this, and this will burn very easily, and we're just gonna warm it up. Start to boil around the edges. Remove from the heat. So you can see things easier. I'm gonna transfer this to a bowl, but you can just do this in the saucepan. See how it gets kind of runnier? inconsistency. So now we're going to add our cocoa powder. Now cocoa powder likes to clump up, so we're going to use a little sifter to get those lumps out, and we're going to do this in three batches. So it's about a third. Sip, 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 sip. Oh, I love that. See, look at all those clumps. We don't want those in there. And then just mix that in there into our warm condensed milk. Ah, it's already smelling so good. And add another third. See all those little clumps? Ah, oh, it smells like brownies. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so now the mixture is getting nice and thick. Smells so good. When I was a kid, I actually didn't like chocolate all that much, but now, oh my goodness, can't get enough. And it's very, it's kind of like a very stiff frosting at this point. Gorgeous. I'm using a little brownie pan here. I'm gonna line it with some plastic. It's very thick, yeah. I'm thinking this pan's gonna be a little bit too 
big. So I'm just gonna fill this halfway. Because this mixture is so sticky, I'm gonna use a plastic wrap to help me spread it out. Now we're gonna place this in the refrigerator and let this cool for two to three hours before we cut them and then eat them. So I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> Alrighty, my lovelies, welcome back. So my truffle mixture has been sitting in the refrigerator for about three hours. Now let us cut it into little bite-sized pizzas, but let me go grab it first. Alrighty, before we lay it out, we're gonna take some plain cocoa powder. Oh, I love that. It's so velvety. I see now why the recipe uses plastic wrap. It's pretty sticky. Now we're gonna liberally dust the top of this with more cocoa powder. Oh. Now we're gonna cut this into bite sized pieces. Cuts nicely. Look at that. <laughs> now we're gonna perfect these and pick each one of these up and just use our fingers to shape them so they look a little bit more perfect. So I'm just pinching the corners a bit, rounding them out. makes them look so stinking cute, so velvety. Alrighty, my lovelies, I made a absolute mess with the cocoa powder and ended up <laughs> everywhere. But finally, I have my condensed milk truffles and they look lovely. I put them on this little gray plate, makes them look very elegant. I'm gonna grab this one right here. Got cocoa powder everywhere. Alrighty, here we go. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. Those are so good. I think what I found surprising was the texture. They're sticky and a little bit chewy. A little bit gummy. They kind of just gum and adhere to your teeth, but the chocolate flavor is so, so good. Actually better than I expected. I was expecting a very kind of, more like a hot chocolate flavor. Chocolate flavor, but not intense. This is very intense. As intense as say a brownie. And it even has that richness of a brownie, even though we didn't put any butter in this. The level of sweetness is perfect for me. It's sweet, but it's not cloyingly sweet. It's not as sweet as say like a candy bar or even a brownie for that matter, but it has that delicious chocolate intensity that I love in a brownie. The richness because we use condensed milk and of course there's dairy in it, but these are delicious. I think what's most interesting and unique about this particular dessert is the texture. It's sticky, kind of like chewy, like gum, but it melts away, kind of coats your teeth, a little bit thick like a frosting, but more substantial and also more lasting than say a frosting. Frosting kind of just melts and is very intensely sweet. Look, you can see a little bit of that stretchiness. Mmm, these are so good. Their chocolate intensity is definitely reminiscent of a truffle, but what I like about these is that they're not as sweet as some truffles are. And this is made with cocoa powder. We didn't have any chocolate bars melted down or any of that. Not that truffles are difficult to make. They usually consist of a ganache that's made of chocolate melted and combined with hot cream and then reshaped into balls. But I love the convenience and this combination of sweetness and chocolate intensity. So great, so easy, and so pantry friendly. You can keep a can of condensed milk in your pantry for ages. Cocoa powder, ditto. And then you've got this really easy, delicious, beautiful looking dessert. So great. I'm sure my teeth are coated in this stuff though. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Alrighty, my beautiful lovelies, there you have it. The two ingredient condensed milk truffles, absolutely delicious. If you are a chocolate head like myself, you will love, love, love these. Thanks again for watching and big thanks to glassesusa.com for sponsoring this video. Click the link down below to receive a special offer. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Coke powder. Coke powder.